What's going on YouTube? Get stick customs here. And I'm going to be getting the grills fired up because I've got uh, some grilled chicken I need to do. I'm going to do some corn on the cob and artichokes I think. Let me get it fired up. My handy dandy fire starter. Do have to do a little bit of cleaning on the grills from the last time. Coals are going good. <clears throat> I got both grills ready, set up to do a little bit of cooking. Oh, I got my baked potatoes in there. Uh, they're washed. Well, they're not baked yet. <clears throat> but the plan is to bake those. I'm planning on doing a baked potato salad tomorrow. Don't know if I'll do a video on it or not. But I've also got corn on the cob to go on the coals. That's the benefit of having two grills. <laughs> two grills, I can do the vegetables on one and I can do the meat and anything else on the other. Uh, so I gotta get going and get cooking. Yeah. Got two sets of grabber thingies. Uh, Squeezers, tongs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, one's going to be for this one, or whatever. Uh, there's a the hook right there. There we go. Probably to just move the coals around. And to turn the potatoes. And don't worry, I'll clean them again after I get them cooked. Come here, you rascal. Right there. <clears throat> Got this one going. Got a little extra coals in there. Ah, another one. Get those going, get them warmed up. Sorry about the close-up. Hope you didn't see my nose here. <laughs> get those going. I'm going to put some... Uh, Hickory chips on there. Give it that hickory chip smoke flavor type deal. And I'm gonna get the corn on. Get that going. Corn on. Oh, there we go. Got a really good price on corn today. I don't think I'm gonna use all of them. Mm. Try to pick out the biggest ones. There we go. Potatoes are coming along. I just turned them. Get the rest of this going. So the balsamic strawberries. This recipe calls for five medium strawberries, uh, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of uh, honey and quarter tablespoon of kosher salt and uh, chopped basil or two tablespoons of chopped basil I'll leave the recipe down in the uh, description below let's get to cooking I've already cored and washed the strawberries let's see how thin I can get these sliced And add those to my saucepan. Now we add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. I don't actually have a quarter teaspoon. I've got a one teaspoon. That looks like a quarter. And two tablespoons of fresh chopped basil. There's tablespoons. So we're going to add, ah, come on. One. Two. And I need a tablespoon, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. I got the balsamic vinegar from the local grocery store. So. Oh, that's going to take forever. Yep. 
plastic cap is already off of it. One. Two, and just a little more for giggles. And then a tablespoon of honey. The nice thing about this one is that it has a scoop feature that allows you to scoop most of it out. Yeah, I got clean fingers. Get over it, y'all. Ah, just a little bit more. Just to make up for what didn't come out. Ah. Oh, that's good. And it says I need to put it on a low heat. And let it simmer until the mixture thickens and it'll coat the back of a spoon. You hear me? Right there. So I'm gonna go put that on a low heat. Alright, another part of this entree is grilled tomato. So I'm gonna cut these tomatoes with a knife. Carly style. Dang it, forgot a knife. Alright, cut the knife. Cut the knife, yeah. <laughs> Cut the tomato. Oh, that's a good looking tomato. Mm. And then, uh, lightly brush it with olive oil. Place it on the hottest part of the grill for one minute and then move it to let it cook. For one minute and then I'll move them over to this side of the grill right here let them continue to cook for another three to four minutes meantime I have chicken that I need to do now this uh, recipe I'm leaving in the bottom is for two six ounce chicken breasts I obviously have four slightly larger than six ounce chicken breasts so what I'm going to do is, when I leave the recipe down in below, you can make adjustments as you need to do it, okay? But the other two are getting the cooking with green bastard treatment. Yeah, I said it. It's happening. All right? <laughs> I don't want to hear no complaints. I'm going to start off by coating two of the chicken breasts with olive oil. They've been washed and patted down. I didn't find any weapons on them. They're safe to go into lockup. Assume the position, chicken. The other two chicken breasts have been coated with olive oil as well. They've also been washed down and patted. Uh, no paraphernalia. And now for the green bastard treatment. A little snippy snip. Oh, get that other. Mm -hmm. Time to get my hands dirty. Oh yeah, baby. I love to rub my chicken breast. I apologize for that. I'll cut that out. Coat the other side. Go to the other side. A little more green bastard. It's just weird to say that. I just have to call you GB. And then throw it on the grill. Then turning it periodically. Ooh, a little bit cooked a little bit cooked a little bit cooked could be a little bit cooked more mm. well, I'm gonna take these off and set them off to the side just keep them leave warm. that let it cook for a little bit longer I had to open it up because the temperature had dropped on it but I'm not sure how well that temperature gauge works all right 
chicken are on the grill. Show you that. They're cooking. I need to move the tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes. They're a little bit shrivelly. Oh, that looks good. All right, let those cook a little bit longer. Uh, and then I'm going to put some more stuff on them, some, a little bit of basil. I will let the chicken cook to an internal temperature of 165 degrees. The recipe calls for five minutes, but these, like I said before, are a little bit bigger than six ounces. So I'm gonna let them cook to an internal temperature of 165. Cook that tomato off of there. Ha! Ah. All right. So leave that cooked for the time being. I got a couple more corn stalks. I got some more GB spice. Now I start to clean up. A good chef always cleans up after himself. A little fresh ground pepper. Come on, grind you peppers, grind. Oh, put that in my pocket. That's the problem with these things. They don't always grind the way you want them to grind. I prefer a regular pepper grinder. Come on, grind a little bit more pepper. I'm not peppering enough. And then, of course, some fresh Wash down oregano. Let's check on the strawberries and balsamic vinegar. You want it to reduce down where it sticks to the back side of a spoon and doesn't run. So that's just about right, right there. Ooh, that is good. So I'm going to take it off the heat, let it sit. Hopefully, it doesn't get too cold before the chicken's done. And uh, mm. gonna eat good tonight. All right, let's check out this chicken. It reached the uh, 150 mark temperature wise, and so I went ahead and put it on the uh, the hot part of the grill over the coals. And let's flip these. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking good. Oh, that's looking good. Tomatoes are looking awesome. I probably need to take these off. You look like a banana. Ooh, that looks good. Balsamic strawberries goes on this chicken right here. It's more like a jam. Got butter. Not much. But it should do the trick. A little salt. A little pepper. Sorry, right, Rosa. I like mayonnaise, but I hadn't tried it on the corn yet, so I'm going to have to try it one of these days. But I am going to try a piece of this chicken with green bastard cooking with green bastard spice on it green bastard spice oh it smells good juicy I like that spice you're gonna have to check out green bastard channel GB that's some good stuff I know I don't like eating in front of y'all but I just can't help it this time. 
I'm gonna try that tomato. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Now some of this. I didn't do anything to the chicken. I didn't put any seasoning. I didn't put any salt. I did all. I did was put olive oil on it and grill it into an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Look at that. That's cooked. And it's juicy. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. That is good. And now for the corn. I have to be careful. Eating corn hurts my teeth. Oh. Just the right amount of cooking. Mm. All right, guys. I didn't bring a napkin. And the dogs are salivating over everything. So, I'm going to cut it off here. <laughs> Even though I've probably made a mess. Do I have anything in my beard? <laughs> As always, if you like this video... Hey, 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 hey. As always... If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. But always, always leave comments down below. If you don't mind, hit that little red subscribe button in the corner down there. And down there somewhere. And uh, check out these videos. There might be something that you like. You know, cooking videos, welding videos, woodworking videos, leather videos, all kinds of videos. Videos for videos. But I will talk to you all later. Bye.